All right, so <clears throat> this will finish up my uh, series of videos on uh, what I'm calling the return to Florida. Um, well, when I say finish up, we got to go back in time. And I got to uh, edit the videos of me coming down uh, from Cary, North Carolina. And, um, and then, of course, there's a couple of videos of me up in uh, Lynchburg. Um, this is all since I got released from the hospital. And then I'm going to go back and, uh, and then tell the story about uh, um, being at the hospital. Although I think I covered uh, some of that. Um, but, you know, there was, there was so much to talk about uh, um, I didn't really get into it. So let's just get into the, the last of uh, being a bachelor and how it is. Men, 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 men. So anyway, um, you know, I'm going through the cabinets and like I said, I'm just kind of getting rid of all the, um, the ex-wife's uh, stuff. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, you think men are pack rats. No, no, we're not. I mean, we're pack rats on tools. Or, you know, I got a motorcycle and I might, I got two helmets. I, I wasn't by design. I just wanted the second helmet because I was going to use it for um, uh, riding with other bikers because I put the communication equipment in there and, and it's never been used. And now I can't even ride my motorcycle, but maybe someday I will be able to again. Um, so, yeah, but I mean, but, but, you know, when you, when you look at what the wife what they leave you, you know, I mean, I, I tell you what, I am throwing out so much stuff, giving so much stuff to charity. Uh, you know, here's, here's an example. So, you know, I'm up in the cabinet and I uh, found a bunch of um, ice cream cones. I've never even seen my wife eat an ice cream cone. I've gotten only knows how old they were. I just threw them in the garbage. Uh, all these little popsicle sticks, uh, she had those. Now, she did take the, um, what, what, what we used to call the bingo bus, but take the bus to Biloxi and I got all those little, uh, those little um, sticks for, you know, uh, pudding shots and stuff like that. So here's some Japanese style panko seasoning. Um, let's see what the date is on this. And it, I don't even need my glasses, I don't think. Oh, May of 2019. <laughs> I mean, number one, you think I would ever buy panko seasoning. Number two, I don't know what she ever used it on. And uh, and. and it hadn't been used since 2019 up in the cabinet. So uh, don't tell me I'm a pack rat. You wouldn't believe the amount of stuff like that that I've thrown away. I got, um, what is it? Uh, oh, God, I can't. Apple cider vinegar. Two huge bottles of apple cider vinegar. I don't even know what she used apple cider vinegar for. Um, she says she, you can drink it for digestive purposes. I got to go online and figure it out. Uh, garlic seasoning from, you know, 2019. You know, I, you name it, it's there. Uh, but let's get into talking about uh, uh, the move back in. So here's, a, here's one for you that the, um, the old battle axe used to do. Um, I don't know if your wife uses these. Uh, I, I, to me, they're garbage, man. You know, you go out, it, because this is what um, uh, Clorox and the big corporations want you to do. They want all this uh, disposable stuff. So the good thing is you can wind this around in the toilet and then this little thing, but well, this thing falls apart, by the way. It'll fall apart in the toilet. And I'm not even sure you're supposed to flush it down the toilet. Uh, and then, of course, it's all soaked and wet. And when you put it in the little bucket, this is the little bucket right here. Uh, it's nasty, man. And it gets uh, gets all down in there. And, uh, and then you got to wash that little bucket out. Screw this, man. That, that's history. I, God knows. I Thank God I got rid of that. Now, I did screw up. I bought this... Um, because to me, you know, if you're going to have a toilet, just get a damn toilet brush. Something that, you know, you can reuse. Now, this one's, I bought this thing, and uh, you know what? It's okay for just scrubbing down inside the toilet. And the nice thing is, uh, it doesn't really get the, um, it's little thing uh, dirty here. But if you want to get under the rim of the toilet, I finally, I had to buy another brush. Uh, and I like these circular brushes. And, uh, and then this, this, so I'm keeping two brushes by the toilet, but... I'm not going out and buy, we used to keep boxes and boxes of them little freaking attachments to the end of that stupid wand thing. Uh, you know, now I don't have to deal with that anymore. Just two brushes and I'm done, you know, and it's got this nice little, uh, little container, you know, I mean, that's pretty cool, huh? You know, and uh, I, yeah, I didn't want two brushes. If I had it, I'd just buy this brush right here. But I will say this, the, um, the, the plastic brush, um, it doesn't get all that filth on it. This is good for getting underneath the rim, and then I just use that one for the main course. So there you go. Uh, my wife left a bunch of these. Now this, 
These come uh, with a little ball in them. It's called the blender bottle. And uh, why in the hell you would want something like this, I have no idea. I got like five or six of them laying around the house. And, uh, uh, but, I, you know, I was going to give them to charity, but then I came up with some other uses for them. But what it is, it's got a little metal ball. And I guess you can put your whatever you're going to blend up down in here and just, you know, shake it around that little metal ball. And then you got to wash the little metal ball. And, uh, you know, I guess you could drink out of this thing. You know, if you pop the lid here some kind of way, I guess it's supposed to be for pouring. But uh, one of the things that I'm using it for is uh, this is baking soda. So like she had the one of these old, um, uh, I don't know, you know, you know, a lot of times when rather than buying something decent like this to put the baking soda in, see, this is perfect, man. You just take it and you can sprinkle that baking soda. So let's tell a quick story about uh, the use of the baking soda. So today, the day you get is not the day you got planned. Let's just put it that way. Today, I was going to actually, I wanted to get out and be normal. I wanted to like wash my car and, uh, and then I've got some shelves that I need to take out and wash those. Did I get to that? No, uh, the, the, the yard crew came and they and I asked them, I said, well, can they blow off the birdcage? They got, they got those big backpacks, man. They can just, Ooh. I said, well, can you guys just blow out the birdcage? And unfortunately, when I opened the sliding glass door, by the way, the sliding glass door is getting replaced with those coastal, uh, coastal uh, windows, you know. And, uh, and the other thing is like these, these old style is, you know, they're, they're, they're level. So you got to clean them. I mean, my wife, she said, well, this house requires way too much work. Yes, it does. The way it was originally built along with these wooden floors and everything, there's, there's a lot of maintenance to this place. And, but you know, it's because of stupidity. So anyway, these sliding glass doors, the new ones, you won't have this problem. But when I opened up these sliding glass doors, it was uh, six months of water that had gotten into the, the top and everything. So all of a sudden, all this water comes in, <laughs> it comes into the house on the wooden floor. I mean, the wooden floor that's gonna buckle because it gets wet. Because some idiot put a wooden floor in Florida where, you know, you got nothing but moisture, you know? I, I God dang. So, you know, I mopped up all the water. I wasn't planning on getting into that. Got the guys to blow out the birdcage, so at least I got that done. So then, you know, what you got to do is, you know, you got to sprinkle down the, the baking powder and rub it into the cracks of the, of the wooden floor so that the, you get all that moisture out. So now I got to, I, I, it, you know, me walking out the damn door created a two hour job of working on the stupid wooden floor. You know, anyway, but once those sliding glass doors get replaced, that'll never happen ever again. So I don't have to worry about that. And plus, uh, I won't ever have to clean these things. I've had to work on these too. The sliders are all messed up on them. So there's, there's a, that's a whole maintenance nightmare that's going away. Uh, now, was it worth $10,000 for that? Probably not. But that's, that's how much the new doors are going to cost. That's $10,000 of the expense. Um, let's get into, so my wife left me some weird shit. You know, I'm going through it and I uh, had no idea what this was. Um, and it, it kind of works okay. The problem is I don't have the strength, but this is for cutting an apple. I've never even seen anything like it. And I tried it out and it works pretty good, but it's hard to get it centered right on the core of the apple and then to push it all the way down over top of the core. It's, um, well, it's not easy to do, but it worked pretty good. Um, I'll keep it. What the hell? Uh, Another thing, uh, you know, and, and you might, uh, you probably give the wife a hard time. <laughs> I know I used to. I don't know more. Uh, but uh, this is for opening uh, uh, pop bottles and, uh, you know, uh, jars and everything. Guess what, man? I've gotten a lot of use out of this thing. I never, I, you know, in fact, I found it. I, I didn't even know we had this stupid thing. I was trying to figure out how to open it. I'm just... Cause I don't want to drink a pop, you know, and I couldn't get the top off because uh, my hands are so weak. But I uh, definitely get you one of these. Uh, you never know when you might hit your hand with a hammer and not be able to use it. Um, this was another thing that um, you know I was talking about. I got the headlamps. Um, the, the you know the other thing is these take two AA batteries. If you've got those size D flashlights or the size C battery flashlights, get rid of them, man. Just buy these. Look at look how bright that thing is. Like, woo, woo you know put that right on the camera now unfortunately during the great purge of lynchburg the real estate agent probably threw out about two or three of these um, they're not cheap um, so that's another thing that i uh, get very angry about that that real estate agent owes me money for 
Uh, prob I'm never, I'll never see it unless I take her to small claims court, which I might someday. Uh, I don't know what the, the, the limit is on that. I think I probably got about a year and I will be back, back up uh, that way eventually. Um, you know, another thing is, uh, you know, I, hand soap. Uh, my wife was big into the hand soap, uh, but these were unsightly. These were hidden all around the house. <laughs> Couldn't, I was going, like, I know we got some damn hand soap here somewhere, you know, and I'd find it in some cabinet somewhere or in a closet somewhere. Well, now one of these sits by every sink. Now, you know, women, they, they want the little designer thing. Like I do have one that I brought home from uh, Virginia. By the way, it was, it was all messed up and it's a little lighthouse and uh, that you can pump the soap out of that. But the rest of the sinks just got the regular, uh, the regular soap bottle. So we got that. We talked about, um, here's another mandatory thing. If you're a bachelor, um, you know, I'm going to tell you because I do get a lot of, um, a lot of stains, uh, in my situation, um, blood and otherwise. And, uh, this shout, man, I tell you what, it, uh, it's, it's worth its weight in gold, man. You just hit the, it's even on the sheets, you know, you, if you got a, a stain on the sheet, man, you just squirt a little bit on there and, uh, and that stain comes out pretty good. I mean, it works really, really well. And, uh, you can, you know, don't buy it just like this. It's way too expensive just to buy it with the, uh, the spray handle. You can get the refill bottles and then just refill these, uh, until they break. Like I said, these spray handles, they don't last as long as, as, as unless you buy the bottles, which I did from Amazon for the other stuff. Here's another thing I've been loading up on. And uh, by the way, these do have an expiration date. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was buying these for camping and uh, they're, they're the pure protein bars. You can get them at, uh, man, they have gone up inflation. Woo, man, these are expensive now. Um, but because mine had expired, now I'm still eating them. Um, they're, they're expired, but they're not like years of expired. There's expired and then there's years of expired. So I've, I've been eating these, but I, I encourage you. I mean, you know, you got about a two year shelf life on these and man, one of these is a meal and boy, I, I just, I, I tell you, it's just like eating candy. And now I, I don't know, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's 180 calories, but I mean, it tastes great and it's lots of protein. Um, here's another thing, uh, you know, this is an expensive way to go, but I get this Lysol disinfectant spray and, uh, what's nice is, is with the toilet, you know, a lot of times you don't want to be in there just scrubbing around and everything. You know, I just, uh, I spray a little bit of this on there and then I take some toilet paper and I'll wipe where this goes. Uh, and that, you know, that'll get the, the mess off of the, the toilet, um, so, you know, and, you know, it is a nice, fresh uh, smell, although, I, you know, I'm not into fragrances. Uh, I, I assume this probably has a fragrance of some kind. I don't know. I hope not. If I could buy it fragrance free, I would. I just, that's just the standard off the shelf thing. Uh, another thing uh, that the, the, the wife uh, would always want is, uh, you know, you got the boxes of tissues. Now, I don't understand why you can have tissues everywhere in a house when you're married. Uh, you know, we would have a tissue box behind the bed. We'd have a tissue box in the Florida room. You'd have a tissue box in the dining room. You'd have a tissue box. I mean, a tissue box everywhere. You know what? I keep one little roll of toilet paper, <laughs> you know, because this is a hell of a lot cheaper than buying tissues. Price, price the tissue box and the tissues versus just one roll of toilet paper. And I guarantee you, you know, you're, you're, you're at about a tenth of the cost. And what does it take? You know, okay, you got a little runny nose, just peel a little toilet paper off, fold it in half, and then, and then you're good to go. And the nice thing is you can hide this in a drawer uh, and you ain't got all them tissue boxes laying around. Men, 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 men. All right, so we got that. Now, here's, here's some, uh, just getting back to the, the old battle axe, man. So here I am, I'm cleaning the master bathroom. I moved the stool and... What do I find? I find this laying on the bottom of the shower. No idea. It's some sort of brush, I guess. I don't know, but I find, I'm finding shit like this everywhere in the drawers. I mean, all kinds of little knickknack, this paddy whack stuff. I mean, I'm like, what the hell is this? What the hell is that? What the hell? I mean, I, I never even saw my wife use any of this stuff, but you know, anyway, I good to get rid of it. Um, another thing, you know, is I'm getting rid of, um, you know, all those little pictures that lay around the house and, uh, you know, that was, that was one of the things like, uh, well, the great purge, uh, you know, they threw all my mom's pictures in, into the closet cause they thought I'd want them. And, uh, and then I just threw them all away. 
Um, cause I, I did encourage mom to, um, I was going to send them to legacy box and I said, you know, for the family, we could digitize them. Um, but you know, did I want them? No, I got no place. I only got 1100 square feet here, you know, or 1711. Um, so anyway, I'd given these picture frames to charity, throwing away all the pictures. Uh, this is one that was in the house. I think this might've been a picture of me and the, uh, the ex-wife. Um, so that's gone. Um, now let's get into a few things that you're going to want. Uh, this is uh, elderberry. Uh, you can buy this at Walmart, and I, I highly encourage you to order it in the four pack like I did. Uh, this stuff is not cheap, um, but I tell you what, I, I take it uh, just to kind of ward off any sort of, uh, it's supposed to be really good for your immune system. And uh, have I been sick? Um, no, not, not since I got, got here. Uh, now I was sick up in Charlottesville, but since I got to Florida, man, I, I've been doing great. So yeah, I, I put a little bit of that elderberry in with um, some Metamucil, uh, usually some cranberry juice, some lemon juice, and then uh, of course I got a little bit of green powder and some beet powder, and I just mix all that. And by the way, a spoon works just fine. I don't need the little shaky bottle. Um, so that gets that. And uh, looky here, here's some, uh, here's some tissues. Woo, yeah. Actually, I brought these back uh, just because they, they uh, were giving me tissues. Now, here's, uh, here's another thing that I, man, I tell you what, I love these. Uh, but they're not, not that long a shelf life on these, but the fig bars, man. My grandmother, she got me hooked on these. And these, I don't know if these are very good for you. It does say real fruit and whole grains. Of course, there's probably a lot of sugar in here, I bet. Uh, calories 200 <laughs> man, a, i wonder if that's per fig bar probably is let's see that let's read the ingredients whole wheat flour fig that's pretty cool fig paste cane sugar so it's not corn syrup that's good brown rice syrup canola oil. so yeah you know cane sugar is the, the number three ingredients that's, that's not too bad but man i love these things and uh they're not cheap but i get those um Here's another little thing, you know, I get these, uh, I, I love nuts. I love peanuts and uh, almonds and stuff like that. But you know what, these little containers, when you're done with the peanuts, man, it, these are great for putting other stuff in. And so one of the great things now is, you know, my wife, uh, I don't know what your wife is like, or, or maybe it's women in general, but I couldn't keep chocolate in the house. Uh, you know, my, my story was, and this cute story was, uh, I bought this huge bag up in Michigan of Halloween candy. And this is when my stepdaughter was still living with us. And, uh, and so, you know, I don't know why, but no kids came to the house trick or treating. And, uh, so a week later, you know, I'm fishing around in the cabinet. We just finished dinner. This is back when I used to eat at the table. And, uh, and I said, I said, man, I said, where's, where's all that Halloween candy? And of course, my wife and my stepdaughter were just sitting there looking. They ate that whole damn bag of Halloween candy. I mean, it was a monster bag, like a five pound bag or something, man. I mean, they ate it in one week, you know, so I couldn't keep chocolate. But anyway, this is great. So what I would do is I put, these are Twix bars, Musketeers. I got uh, Milky Way bars. Um, York peppermint patties, you know, and I just put them all down in here and I, uh, and then I would stash these around the house when my wife was here, but now I don't have to do that no more. But boy, I tell you, these containers, they're great for keeping stuff like this in. And so I put all my candy down in these old uh, peanut jars. You do what you want. And this is what I was telling you. Now, if you're going to get lemon juice, um, the Santa Cruz organic, uh, and then you want to go with the pure lemon juice. Now, if you buy, uh, the off the, the counter lemon juice, um, a lot of times that's just sugar, man. You know, they, they advertise, there's a smidgen of, of lemon juice uh, concentrate in there, but it's all sugar. This is pure lemon juice, man. You wouldn't want to drink this, but this is great for just adding to something. And uh, I buy, I buy these by the, by the dozen, man. And I just, I just add a little bit here and there, especially to tea. This is great. Now you can get that pure, uh, the true lemon. It comes in a little packet uh, for your tea and then put a little lemon in there that way too. And they also, they also, the true lemon comes in lime and you can get those at Home Depot. My wife turned me on to that, by the way. And uh, that, that is a good thing to have. Um, here's, here's another one for you. Um, cranberry juice. Uh, I always get, uh, now luckily uh, Walmart has their own great value uh, cranberry juice. This stuff is not cheap, man. 
100, but this is 100% cranberry juice. If you get the uh, ocean spray or any of that stuff, that's all sugar. That's just sugar. It's not real cranberry juice. So you got to get this and yeah, you're going to pay for it. This is like six bucks right here. If you get the name brand, uh, it's like, well, with inflation, I mean, I think it's up to about $8 a bottle for this stuff. But I tell you, this is really great for your, um, uh, well, down below the bladder. It's great for your bladder. There you go. Um, this is, uh, this is another thing. Um, now, if, if you are having uh, problems with continence, um, they make these absorbent pads. These are called Ultrasorb. Uh, they turned me on to these in the hospital. Now, this is great for a dog, too. Uh, you know, for a dog peeing on them. And uh, I just put one, I put one by the door. Well, right now, there's nothing but baking soda. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a hell of a mess over here. I got to clean up. I'm still not done after two hours of water coming in and soaking the wood. So we got that. Uh, this is another thing. You know, my wife, she would buy those those um, decorative um, wooden back scrubbers, you know, and they, they, they the little hooks would come out just a little ways. And so you're trying to get it on your back. And you're like, God dang it, I can't get it down there, man. And, and, and that big, long piece of wood. No, 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 no. Get you, get you these right here. You can order these at Amazon. Uh, you see the, the metal hook? I'm going to tell you what, you can scrape the flesh right off your back with these. And see how they, they fold up? That's great for travel. And uh, they sell them in a two, two, two kit. Now, this, see, these went away in the Great Purge up in Lynchburg. They threw away my back scratcher. So I had to order some more when I got here. Um, now, they're not that expensive, but, you know, another thing that I had to order. Uh, so... Anyway, there was that. Now, here's something else that I buy a lot of. And uh, you want to get, I, I, get the Sun Suite, all right? And this is the amazing uh, prune juice with pulp, okay? So if you're uh, having a little bit of a constipation, uh, which uh, I won't say, uh, this uh, prune juice, I'm going to tell you, you don't, all that Miralax stuff and all of that crap, I mean, Metamucil is good in the fact, you know, it's a fiber and it goes through and it cleans out, you know, the, the walls of the intestines and everything. But as far as getting things moving, <laughs> I mean, I, sun sweet. I mean, and plus, I like the taste of prune juice. I guess I'm just an old fart. Uh, but to me, it tastes pretty damn good. Um, so there was that. Now, here's here's another one. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I'm telling you, the, having the battle axe gone is great in some ways. She would have these uh, decorative little soap dishes uh, that you put the soap in and then she tried putting like little sponges in there. And of course, the sponge looks like hell. And uh, and, and so the, what would happen is even with the sponge, the, the, the soap would just kind of turn into a mush in these these decorative little soap dishes. And so I went up on Amazon. I said, man, there's got to be, you know, because I had an idea. I said, there's got to be a way with like a rack. You know, if you could put the soap on top of a rack and let the soap dry, I mean, that way your soap bar wouldn't turn into mush, right? Well, check it out. I got these in every sink now. And look how decorative that is. It actually matches the vanity. And it's got this little rack on top. And then I bought, you can buy these sponges. Let me just show you the sponge. Um, you can order these at Amazon. These are called soap sponges. Now, you could just put the soap right on the sponge, which is what I do in the showers. I just put the soap right on these because it's, you know, it's porous and it'll keep the soap from deteriorating. But in the shower... You know, the, the shelf goes off like this, so it drains pretty good anyway, but these, this is good to have it on. And, and also, it fits really well right underneath there, so now my soap bars are going to last forever. And this sits right up on top of the sink, and it's decorative. So I got rid of all those decorative piece of shit uh, soap dishes that, uh, that she had. Uh, you know, I even asked her if she wanted them. I don't want them. I don't want them no more. Um, this is, uh, this was, oh, this is a story behind this one. Oh, my God. So, um... I told you that the Brita, I, and by the way, I don't like Brita. I mean, I, you know, I, nothing against them, but that, you know, that like I said, the handle had broken off. I glued it back on and, you know, my fault for just not throwing the damn thing away. Um, but the uh, Brita, not only does it filter less uh, contaminants out of the water, um, the pictures, you know, obviously don't hold up as well or anything. So I was asking the guy at Home Depot, I said, man, do y'all have any of those water pictures? Because mine broke and I... I try to keep two of them, you know, in the fridge because, uh, you know, that way I, you know, 
because I drink a lot of water and uh, you don't want to be constantly filling up. That way, you know, if I got two of them, you know, why? And by the way, why are you going to buy bottled water when you can just filter your own? And uh, I've talked about this in previous videos. If you just get a uh, Kyatitan uh, water filter, you can pump 500 gallons of water through the water filter. You don't need all those plastic water bottles are taking up space in your house. But that, that's up to you. Plus, pop. Pop is liquid, right? You know, so I've got cases and cases of pop, so I got plenty of that. And uh, plus, but anyway, I bought, so I asked the guy, I said, well, you know, do you have any? So he comes around the corner, it was a Brita. I said, is that all you guys? A Brita? Oh, yeah, that's all we got. I said, well, damn, I, I like the pure filters myself. I said, but oh, well. So on my way out, this was, uh, might have been when I was getting the garbage disposal. I said, you know, what? I'm going to go over there and look and see what they got. And boom, right there on the shelf is the pure. I mean, and why was he showing me the Brita? Maybe he's getting some sort of kickback for pushing the Brita versus the Pure. But uh, so let's just read you a little bit about this thing. Certified to reduce lead and three times more contaminants than Brita. That's the, they put that right on the advertisement. I don't think that's false advertising. Reduces 20 plus contaminants and substances. Lead, um, cadmium, copper, mercury. Well, my zinc to me is kind of good for you. I guess in, in maybe in a, um, a supplement. I don't know. But uh, the main thing is the chlorine, man. If you're drinking tap water, I'm telling you, I I taste the damn difference when I when I run it through a purulator filter. And by the way, you just put this. I mean, it doesn't take up no room in the in the in, I, I, and I. By the way, in all my travels with the broken neck and staying at all, all, nobody has water filters. I mean, some people just have pitchers of water where they just take the tap water. I don't know. I don't get it. You know, I just put. I just. Fill this up, put it back in the fridge, and uh, and then you got filtered water for for whenever you want it. Uh, I feel like an advertisement for pure uh, pure filters, and uh, so that's why I bought that because the other one broke. Um, anything? Else? Well, we already talked about having some battery powered clocks. Uh, I still got that sitting there. Oh, here's another one that went away in the Great Purge. I had um, I had two or three of these up in Virginia. Um, now this isn't the Yeti. This is an off-brand, and uh, my wife uh, she took. A, I had a. I had. <laughs> ended up, I had like. I mean, this is how life goes. I had like seven of these. Way too many of them. And these handles. Uh, you know, I only had two of the handles. Now my wife doesn't like the handles because they do come come loose. Uh, but if you jerk it up on there really well, I like having the handle because you know in the car, man, you grab it and. You know, it's it's to me it's a lot easier than trying to drink it holding on to the thing like this. So I'm going to order, in fact, as soon as I'm done with this conversation, I'm going to order another handle. But my wife, she took two or three of these. They threw away a couple of these up and so I'm down to like one. <laughs> I mean, I had eight of these. Uh, so during the great purge of Lynchburg, Virginia, where that real estate agent threw away every fucking thing I had. Anyway, God dang it. And my stepsister, I fault her too. She could have gone in there and set my stuff aside. But no, she didn't. Well, I see stepsister. All right, so here's another thing my wife left me. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I had a little uh, uh, pill box. Because, uh, you know, normally uh, the only pills I used to take was uh, just a multivitamin and maybe a uh, baby aspirin. And so what I would do is I, when I travel, you know, I just have one of those little baby uh, pill boxes that's got two on each side. So that's enough li literally for two weeks. And most of the time I'm not traveling more than a couple of weeks anyway. Um, but now, I mean, well, it, at first, when I first got here, I, you know, I was like, man, I'm, I need, you know, <laughs> you got your morning pills, your noon pills, your evening pills, your bedtime pills. Anyway, luckily, my doctor here and I are in agreement. We are totally against prescriptions. In fact, I'm completely off of my blood pressure medication. The only thing I'm taking now is basically the gabapentin and, uh, and some supplements. I got a multivitamin. And, uh, and then, of course, I've got, you know, I take vitamin D and a couple of things because uh, COVID is still moving around. And I think we're going to get a, a, a pretty deadly variant eventually. That's uh, that's my prediction. Um, oh, here's another one. Uh, um, so I've been going to Walmart and I've been going to Bell's and I've been I've been shopping everywhere, you know, because these are my dad's old slippers and my wife, my mom, you know, because he, he had water retention on his feet. And so my mom cut these right down the middle, but I tell you what, these things are nice and comfortable. So I sewed them back up because I, I love these, these slippers. Well, look at them. They're, I've worn them so much, uh, they're falling apart. 
<laughs> so I've been I've been looking for slippers. So I bought um, I bought the slippers from Mike Lindell, for example, and uh, they um, they were too narrow. I mean, they're you know I tell you what they're they're great. If you got a size D foot, I mean he, he did design a hell of a nice slipper. But it, I got wide feet, man. Look at my foot. It's deformed, man. It's one inch long by you know five inches wide. Uh, I'm, I'm a hobbit, you know, what can I say? But uh, so I need a wide slipper. So I, I went to Walmart. I've tried on slippers and everything, you know. And uh, so finally, I, I got these moccasins on order, uh, the moccasin brand, and it comes in a wide. And I, well, we'll see. If it works out, it's going to be great because then I can take them because I want a slipper that I can take outside. You know, I don't want it something to, you know, the, those fuzzy slippers. You know, I'm sorry, man. If you buy those, they, they're cute. They're real cute. But guess what? The bottoms of those things tear off in no time. And I, they start losing their stuffing. And, you know, especially if you got a dog. <laughs> they love them fuzzy slippers, man. They'll make short work of that. Indeed. So, uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, I wanted to show you. This is what, you know, if you buy the protein bars, of course, you're going to buy them by the box. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, I always write the expiration date. So these expire 623, and I just bought these. So you figure, you know, I've only got about a year-long shelf life on these. But I, you know, right now I'm eating the old ones because they're expired. Uh, here's another thing, a little edumacation for you, because the wife, um, you know, to her credit, she, well, I mean, wouldn't say she always did the dishes. It's just that I never, I mean, I'm a guy. I just, I dump the dishwashing liquid into the little uh, thing. And then there was the other slot next to it. I had no idea what it was for. I just I just put the dishwashing liquid in there and run the dishwasher, and it was good enough for me. Uh, but I guess, you know, you might get spots. Spots. Oh, my God, we can't have spots on the glasses. Oh, no, no, no. But anyway, so I did um, look into it, and it turns out, because I got a Bosch dishwasher, brand new, um, that was one of the things that I did, you know, to, to get ready for inflation was I replaced all the, well, obviously, I didn't replace the garbage disposal, and the, the faucet in the sink, but everything else I pretty much did. Replaced the showers and the washer. And, and by the way, my wife hates the washer. I mean, I got, I got the cat daddy. I mean, I actually have to use a claw to get down in there because it's so damn deep. You can wash two comforters in my washing machine. But uh, anyway, it, hell of a savings, by the way, when you put that much clothes. Because I save up my laundry for like a month. And now, without, I don't know what it is with women. What's, I mean, you tell me, leave a comment below. My wife would do laundry like, my ex-wife, excuse me, I bet that, that washer ran 24-7 uh, at least three days a week. And I'm like, how can you have so damn much laundry? I mean, I, don't, I couldn't get it. Well, you know, I've only got the one shirt. I said, you got an entire fucking closet of clothes, man. I said, why are you? Well, I just like that one shirt, you know, and that, that, that would be a whole load of laundry. So I'm going to save a ton of money there. But anyway, so this is uh, the finish. And in the side of the wa uh, the dryer, I mean, of the wash of the bag on it, dishwasher, uh, there's a little. I didn't realize there's a canister in the door, and uh, you just add a, this every now and then, and, and it's enough for about three or four loads, and then uh, and then just fill it up again. So now I can I have no spots on my dishes no more. Yeah, and so I stocked up and I bought another thing of the finish, and I didn't know what it was. I mean, I'm I'm learning. Um, and then they, they make the, and then the one guy there, you know, they have these tablets that, of course, the finished tablets. Now, that's a lot more expensive than just buying a regular old, you know, Cascade or whatever. And, and I, I think it's a scam. I think they just want you to buy those tablets so they can get more money because they're a lot more expensive than just buying Cascade or, or you know, even the liquid Cascades. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing the tablets. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, this is... Um, this is that Walkman I was telling you about. Now, I, I went ahead. Of, by the way, the Great Purge in Lynchburg. This is, this is the, uh, the CC Crane um, Walkman. Uh, I haven't been able to do better than this. The Seagrin, or the, there's a yellow one, Seagrin. Uh, they make a good Walkman, um, but it's just not as good as this one. I mean, you can even, you can feel the weight of this. And the nice thing about these Walkman that I like, well, not only does it have the weather channel and everything, uh, or the NOAA report, uh, it takes two AA batteries. So these are rechargeable batteries and, you know, I can just, you know, pop the batteries out. And I, I listen to my Walkman, you know, whenever I'm walking or hiking or, or working in the yard. I mean, I got this thing on. Uh, over here, I, I, I kind of got it in the side view as the wheelchair. Uh, 
I, you know, I don't need a wheelchair right now, but I tell you what, I am going to have some fun rolling around the neighborhood in the wheelchair once my collarbone heals because it's good workout. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you, I, I, I wasn't going to bring the wheelchair. I was just going to give it back to um, the company because I do have to pay a monthly rent on that thing, but only for one year. Now, when I priced it out, the insurance is paying most of the money on the wheelchair. And, you know, I, Glenn, I've got a limited amount of room at the house. And so, dude, I really, but guess what, man? You know, when I have company over, I'll sit in the day. It's comfortable as hell. I'll sit in the wheelchair and let the company have the sofa and the, and the recliner. Uh, so to me, it's just an extra chair. Now, would the wife have a wheelchair in the, in the Florida room? I don't think so. And the nice thing is you got wheels, man. I can just roll right into the kitchen, grab a, grab a soft drink and come back out and watch TV, you know. And the, Anyway, I, so but it's a $2,000 wheelchair and I'm getting it for $200. And so... I figured it's worth having, and if I do, I mean, obviously I'm accident prone, so, you know, who knows when I'll need that. And then the last thing I was going to go over was the um, the catheters. Uh, VA gave me a, a two-month supply back here. Now, why couldn't um, the uh, UVA, I'll call them out, the UVA hospital, why couldn't they give me a supply of catheters? But one of the stupid things was they insisted that I carry this thing. Now, if you've ever been in a hospital, this is your little pee jug. Now... How are you going to cath into this? <laughs> you know what I mean, what, you're going to you're going to like hold the thing and try to hold. I mean, no, I mean, the stupidest thing. Of course, this is just going to go in the recycle bin. But I just wanted to show you an example of the shit that they send you home with, and you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? You know, now granted, someday if the if the doodad ever works correctly again, I guess you could use this. I mean, you get up in the middle of the night and you can't quite make it to the the, the toilet. I guess you could go right off the side of the bed, but I, in my house, and it's right next to the the bed. I don't know what they're talking about. Um, this was uh, check this out. This is the Vapro Plus Pocket. Now, this is what they sent me up in Lynchburg, Virginia. Now, the advantage of this is is that it's self lubricated. And by the way, and that doesn't mean crap because I couldn't, it didn't work for me. And that's how I got into an emergency up in uh, Charlottesville in that police bathroom. That's another story. Um, but, uh, but yeah, but these, uh, the, the, the hospitals use them because it comes with a bag and it measures the amount of liquid that, that comes out. And so who cares? Guess how much 30 of these cost? And this is why your medical bills are so high, a thousand dollars, a thousand freaking dollars for 30 of these. Guess how much this little guy costs? 99 cents, 99 cents. So when I got the thousand dollar, because I had copay on that, I sent them back and that's how I got in, ran into the catheter situation because they sent the wrong ones. I just wanted the little 99 cent one, which is what I got back here. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show those to you. Um, now, by the way, this is, this is, <laughs> this is, see, this is the old back scratcher. This is what I'm talking about. This is what my wife bought for me. Now, try, try using this daggone thing. I mean, you know, it, it, it works okay. I mean, you can get back there, but you got this huge piece of wood uh, that, that's going to charity. I can't wait to get rid of that. And I got, I got the other ones now in place of that. And look how much room that takes up. I mean, you know, the, the, the wife was, uh, women are always worried about, oh, I can't have a bottle of soap sitting on the counter, but you can have a back scratcher sitting behind your bed when, you know, when you, the little fold one only takes up this much room and it fits in a drawer. Oh, look at there, you know, men aren't that stupid, are they? We, we like to hide stuff too, somewhat. Uh, I did want to get into this. <laughs> you know, won't tell you the purpose, but uh, the, the little suppository goes there, and woo, yeah. So we got that just in case. Um, that, <laughs> I thought, I, this is just for fun. This is just for giggles. Okay, so so they make um, this is for a bad prostate, and this is a catheter. And look at it. It's got the giant hook right here. <laughs> So that when you're putting it in there, it's gonna hook right over top. I mean, I man, I tell you what, thank God. I I don't know if my prostate's bad or not, but who I wouldn't want to try to push that anywhere in in into me. Um, so that's it. That's enough fun with the catheters. I just thought I'd get into the, some of the medical stuff. And um, well, that's it. That's it for the uh, return to Florida video. Um, you know, now um, you know, I'm still working through. Uh, 
and by the way, I mean, you know, a lot of people just don't recycle. Uh, you know, for example, I, I, it occurred to me, I found, by the way, I found the last hook. So now the, the old shower curtain set, I've got all the hooks for it. I've got the outer cover that my wife bought for it, and I've got the shower curtain. And so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put all that nicely together and put it in a plastic bag and give it to charity. You don't need to throw that shit away. Now, the shower curtain uh, comes in handy. I mean, if, you, if you've got something you need to cover up uh, that you don't want to get wet or just you know put it on the floor or whatever. Um, so it's worth keeping as a tarp. I mean, it doubles as a tarp. Um, you know, I'm just throwing that out, but I got, I got plenty of tarps. I got plenty of ponchos and stuff. So there's no reason I'll just give it to charity and, uh, and let them, you know, somebody somewhere is going to need a shower curtain and then, and it'll all be nicely packaged along with the hooks and everything so that, you know, I mean, I'm sure that they may just give it to them and, uh, and then they'll take it back and they'll be like, Oh man, a free shower curtain. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, I guess we'll finish up with, um, the politic and, uh, I shouldn't say politic. And by the way, on um, Rumble, uh, where I get a lot of my information, the Duran, the D-U-R-A-N, D-U-R-A-N, just look them up on Rumble because uh, they had to move over from YouTube. YouTube purged them because they were talking about the uh, Ukraine war and uh, and they talk about uh, the, the China situation. And uh, um, they got a lot of, I don't know where, uh, they seem to be very well connected and uh, because the information they got is spot on. And uh, I like, I, I love listening to the guy because he's got kind of an accent, <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, it's just, it, it, you just listen to him and go, man, that guy sounds smart, <laughs> you know, unlike me, you're going, oh man, it's that redneck Kirk, oh my God, that, that cybersecurity guy. All right, so let's do the mantra, it's good, good, good God, thank you, Lord, it's good to be back in the free state of Florida. Oh my God, seven months away. I thought I'd never see it again. Um, I mean, I, hell, I almost didn't. Uh, and the, the sad thing is my ex-wife would have gotten everything. I already told you that if you don't specify a beneficiary, it reverts back to the previous person. So be sure. And right now, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, I hope they don't send an assassin. They're getting everything at this point. But I've got some plans for, for where I want my money to go. Um, you know, and, and, and as a single person, you know, or, or somebody that has no relatives, no friends, um, you know, things you got to think about. I, I One thing I am going to do is I'm going to advance pay for there's a military seminary, military cemetery about an hour from here. And that's where I want to be buried because uh, I want to be buried in Florida. I don't want to be buried in Virginia where I'm from originally. My family's up there. I just I got nothing to do with them. And uh, so I'm going to be buried here and uh, I'm going to pay for everything in advance. And that way, uh, if something happens to me, like falling down the stairs again or something, um, it'll all be taken care of and I'll be done on autopilot because there's nobody to do it for me. You know, I did it all for my mother. Uh, my, my mom and dad did it for my brother and my mom did it for my dad. But, you know, I'm all alone. Nobody's going to do it for me. So I got to do it all on my own. And that's something you might want to think about, especially if you're a widower or uh, or recently divorced or whatever, you know, you gotta you gotta plan this stuff out, and it ain't cheap, man. I can't remember what it cost. Uh, I think it was like seven thousand for mom's um, uh, funeral. I mean, uh, with the, um, the this, of course, for me it'll be dirt cheap. I mean, who's gonna be there? <laughs> you know I mean? just, well, I will have the honor guard from the VFW. That's about it. All right, so uh, good to be back in the free state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. Uh, by the way, uh, you got to watch Dan Bongino sometime. He's on Rumble too, and uh, he always he does this dun 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 dun, and, he's, and it's uh, DeSantis strikes again. <laughs> he's got a whole segment of DeSantis, because you know what I mean. I I don't even understand why these other Republican governors aren't following in DeSantis' footsteps. I mean, if they've got woke district attorneys that are are letting criminals back out on the streets. I didn't realize the governor's got the authority. I mean, wouldn't it make sense to just kick them right out the door? I mean, they, they really do work for the governor. So, um, I mean, I know de no Democrat state's going to do that. They just assume, you know, I mean, look at the cities. Uh, good God, what's going on in Chicago? And, well, every, every Democrat city there is. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live in no damn Democrat city, I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. I, well, I, well I, I guess I could if I had a, I I would be going out my house with a bazooka, 
probably a, a Derringer down my sock and a Beretta 9mm stuffed in the back. That's the only way I go on a street in a Democrat city. That's, 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 that's my honest opinion. All right, so peace out. Stay free. Ah, whew, sorry. Oh, my legs, my legs. Oh.